Professor Sandy Simpkins, thanks for coming in uh, today to spend a little time uh, talking about your background and your, your research and advice for uh, students that might consider our program. Uh, maybe a place to start would be you came to University uh, of California, Irvine, uh, right about the same time I did. I think this is your third yes. year? Fourth year. Fourth Beginning year. of fourth year, yes. Uh, what brought you, what drew you to uh, come join uh, the unit here? Yeah, to be an anteater. <laughs> um, there were several things. One of the main things was that um, this is one of the places to go to study after school activities, which is one of my areas of research. And it's also one of the places to go to study my other area of research, which is um, motivation in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and STEM. And so coming here, it was sort of a no-brainer decision that it was just going to be a very different place for me in terms of people to conduct studies with and collaborate with to teach classes. And that's definitely happened. I've already taught undergraduate and graduate level classes on organized after school activities, which I had never done before, um, despite being a professor for several years, uh, over a decade before coming here. And it's led to things I hadn't imagined, um, different grant collaborations. I know we'll talk about one probably on a recent one on um, organized activities and character that Deborah, Jackie, and I have. And I never would have imagined. Deborah Van Dell. Yes, Deborah Van Dell, Jackie Jack Eccles and yourself. Yes. And, um, I never would have imagined that proposal, but I think it only came together because I was here with them and working together. And so that was the main driver to come here. And the second is just being in an interdisciplinary department. That the one I was in before, I worked with sociologists, and that led to a deeper understanding for me, a different way to think about immigration and cultural processes from the way sociologists think about it is different than a developmental psychologist like myself. And then also, we, I started working with someone who does social network analysis, so looking at the connections between people. And um, David Schaefer, and he's actually now in sociology here as well, that he and I were able to look at how do activities help change youth friendship networks, their friendship groups, and do they in fact help youth make new friendships and maintain friendships? And that you can only do that type of analysis you know, by working with someone who knows social network analysis. So I'm looking forward to see what new collaborations and things that will happen here at UCI.